So hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be doing a firmware update on the Razer Viper Mini to alter the liftoff distance which has been a common problem with this from day one and finally Razer looked to have resolved it. We're going to give it a quick test with some DVDs, see what height it is and I'll show you how to update it in the software as well. If you want to go back and see the original problems I'll put a link in the description, I've done a video on it like I said, I'll show you where it started. We're not going to test it today because we know it was already a problem. What I'm going to show you today is the result when you do the firmware update. Just go back to the other video to see where the issue is. I'm going to be using today a Razer Viper Mini. I have tweaked this one a little bit. It's a little bit lighter than normal. You'll see that I do go around and mod a few mice. Here's also a wireless Razer Viper Mini. So it might look a little bit different to what yours is, but this is still a Viper Mini board inside. You can do exactly the same with yours. So there's nothing different here apart from its weight. So we're going to need to do, you need to go to Razer's website. You're going to need to download the firmware update. I'll put a link in the description as well for this. Once you have this downloaded, you need to run it. Do not disconnect your mouse at this point in time. I did it with mine plugged in. Razer does tell you to plug it in, but mine was always plugged in. But just do not unplug it once the firmware is going, as you'll brick your mouse here. And once this is completed, what I had to do was I had to reboot. You might be able to unplug it and plug it back in, but I just rebooted anyway. And then it redetected back in Synapsis. So once we're back in Synapsis, you can see you've got all the common settings here. You've also got the calibration for the mouse pad, which was a trick to use as well as a tape mod that I've shown before. But everything else looks pretty similar. There's no LOD distance alteration within the software here. So it looks like Razer just defaulted it on the actual mouse itself to bring it in line with things like the 3389 and the standard Viper Wired or the Ultimate. So you can see here is two DVDs, one in front of the other. This is a common test here. It's what you call one DVD height here. This is Rocket Gym Ninja's method, people recognize. So you can see here that the mouse is moving here. You can see it here on the screen. We'll put it up to one DVD. You can see now it's not moving. Whereas I've finally fixed the liftoff distance, which has plagued the Viper Mini. Still works on DVDs. So now it's below one DVD in height for LOD, which makes this Viper pretty nice given the price. So I recommend it if you haven't already check out my review on the Viper Mini. I'll put a link in the description, as well as a load of other mods that I've done for it if you're interested, like grip tape, things like that. So this video has been useful. Until the next one, I'll see you very, very soon. Catch you later. Bye bye.